All right, welcome back everybody. So I just had a video on our actual, with our force buddy here, right? All the forces, all right? So just talked about that. If you have more questions on them, check out Bobby's videos. He does a great job breaking down each one as well. Or if you got more questions, feel free to call us too, right? We've got the phone number down below so you can check that out too, okay? Today though, I wanna talk about actual training ways to work on these different types of forces, all right? So first one we're gonna talk about is just kinda of go around the horn here. First one's gonna be that horizontal force, all right? So this is the side to side motion, all right? Now, a great way to work on this is by using the club, all right? So I got my driver out here, working on a very simple demonstration here, all right? So, got ourselves a roller, all right? Now this roller here, we're gonna place on the lead heel, right outside of it, basically touching, all right? So the goal with this is to produce a swing where as we come back down towards the ball, towards impact, right? We don't get through the ball and knock that over, all right? Very commonly when that gets knocked over, it's just because that lead side, the horizontal forces are not being utilized or even created, right? So if we're able to produce a swing where as we come back down, right? We're getting away from that roller, then we know we are pushing from that outside of the foot back, right? To create a upward torque, especially with the driver, right? Super useful, right? So just to show you here, placing the roller around the outside of my heel, I'm gonna swing back here and through, all right? Now, what happened here is I kept that heel pressure on my lead side, that's a big thing here. Got through and rotated all the way around looking at my target at the very top, all right? So again, that's for training horizontal forces, it's a great one. You can even do this on the driving range, right? If you got a roller, bring that along with you. Otherwise, you can try this at home, all right? It's an interesting one too to actually hit a ball with too. You know, take a few warm up reps, cuts, whatever you, you know, call them see how things look, try this drill out, take a couple more swings, and then retest without that roller and see that uh, actually gain in uh, distance, all right? Number two here we're gonna talk about is also gonna be the heel-toe forces, all right? So this is more rotational based now, all right? So with this, I have a couple blocks set up here, all right? At home or at the gym, it could be like a brick wall because we're gonna be throwing a ball into it, all right? So the goal with this is to work on our rotation, all right? So the feeling you should be having is we're gonna do what's called a scoop toss here. And we got other videos on YouTube explaining it further. Just gonna talk it through here though. So with this, we're gonna work on our rotation, all right? Now, one little thing I want you to focus on here is as you rotate away with the ball, get onto your toes here on the lead side. As we throw the ball through, reverse it. Trail side is on its toes, uh, producing heel pressure through the lead side, all right? So just to show you here, we're gonna go back here and then through, all right? Now with this, I'm not gonna throw as hard as I possibly can right now, they'll knock the boxes over, but that's the goal is, you know, getting that feeling down and throwing as fast as you can. Because what we're trying to do is train those horizontal forces, or excuse me, heel-toe forces. If we're kind of going at 50% effort, we're not gonna really see a gain, all right? To make sure change, we gotta be, you know, training as, as high as intensity as possible, all right? Last one here we're gonna do is talking about vertical forces. And again, this is the one that produces the most quantity of force or newtons in the swing, all right? So with this one, we're gonna work on up and down motion. Now, as a little aside here, any sort of like plyometric exercise, if it's box jumps, things like that, are a great way to also train, uh, you know, purely just the up and down motion of your vertical force. I'm gonna show you an exercise here that works on the vertical force, but works on a little bit of everything else too, all right? So with this one, we got ourselves the ball here, all right? What we're gonna do is bring the ball up, all right, pause for a second next to the ear. You can see I'm getting on my toes a little bit, right? And then you're gonna throw the ball straight down, all right? The goal with this is you should feel like you're almost like getting to the point where you're jumping, uh, jumping up in the air, right? You're pushing so hard into the ground. All right, so just to show you again here, got the ball, a little bit of squat load into it, down, through, all right? Again, with this, great way to work on the vertical force. Also a great way to actually work on the timing and the swing, all right? Try it out, see how it feels. You'll find that with working on all three of these, it can feel a little funky trying to piece them all together in the swing. And that's where we can come in and help you out there, all right? So if you have questions on how to piece all this together, give us a ring, stop by our, uh, our building in North Carolina if you're down the road, and we'll talk more about that, all right? If you got any questions, feel free to reach out again via our phone number or link down below, or just leave a comment, all right? If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.